Hello, my name is Maddie Borland, and this is Peaches, and today I'm going to be practicing my rabbit showmanship because I'm going to be taking Peaches to the county fair in May. Okay, so two of the things that I always like to have on hand when we go to a rabbit show just to review, um, and that's really, I find really fun to just look through and learn, is first of all, the rabbit showmanship scorecard from the ARBA, so it's American Rabbit Breeders Association website. And this ha has all of the steps to what you're gonna go over in showmanship, the actions, so what the judge is looking for um, as you go into those steps with your rabbits, and then the terminology of what the judge would like to know that you are looking for as you go through these steps, and then what the point, um, what these steps are worth in the points. And then the one other thing I like to have is the ARBA standard of perfection. And this has every breed of cavies and rabbits, so guinea pigs. Um, and so to go through that and to find any of your breeds is really important because then it has um, what are disqualifications and defects in your breed. Um, it has the body type and it has just a bunch of awesome information. So now we're gonna go through showmanship from start to finish. So the first thing I wanna cover is how to properly hold your rabbit. So one of the ways that you can make rabbits feel the most secure is by using their scruff. So I put my pointer finger between their ears and I'm not actually gonna pick them up by their ears, but this is just gonna tuck the ears back and you're gonna grab the thin layer of skin that's right behind their neck. You're gonna pick them up and scoop them and put their head in your elbow and you wanna cover their eyes and when they can't see everything that's happening around them, it makes them feel the most secure. So now that we have our rabbit in position, when you're at a rabbit show, they're gonna have you walk into the room. You're gonna stand about four or five feet away from the table and you're gonna do four quarter turns and this is so that the judge can make sure that you're holding your rabbit properly. So you're gonna start facing them and when the judge acknowledges you, you're gonna turn a quarter turn, another quarter, all the way around and then you're gonna wait for the judge to acknowledge you again you're gonna come up to the table and you're gonna set your rabbit down and we always set them down so that the judge is examining their so that the left the rabbit's left side is towards the judge so just like this and then this is another reason why your standard of perfection is really important because then you're gonna to have to know your rabbit's body type in order to know how to pose them so my rabbit's body type is compact but the Netherland Dwarf is her breed, and they stand slightly more upright. <laughs> so we're gonna get her underneath herself. There we go, something like that. I haven't had peaches for very long, so we are still practicing this. There we go, something a little bit like that. Okay, so now that we have our rabbits nicely posed, we're going to introduce ourselves. So we're gonna introduce our first and last name, what, how old you are, and what club you're from. So I would say, hello, my name is Maddie Borland. I'm 11 years old, and I'm in the Bitterwater 4-H Club. And this is my Netherland Dwarf, is her breed. Tortoise shell is her color. And she is a senior doe, which means that she is a female rabbit that's over the age of six months, and her name is Peaches. So going through that all together would be, hello, my name is Maddie Borland. I'm 11 years old. I'm in the Bitterwater 4-H Club, and this is my Netherland Dwarf Tortoise Shell Senior Doe Peaches. So the first part of our rabbits that we're going to examine are their ears. Well, any show rabbit needs to be ear tattooed, and so depending on the size of your rabbit's ear, you can only fit so many numbers and letters in there, but my rabbit's tattoo is MB2. We're gonna check the outside of the ear for fur coverage, so how much hair is on the outside, and also the carriage of her ears, so how well they're placed upon her head. The inside of the ear for any mites and any canker sores. We're gonna look at the thickness of the ear, the color of the inside of the ear, and any missing or torn portions of the ear. 
You're, this is a little bit of a long <laughs> kind of thing to go through, so you're going to say it as you're examining one ear, and then you're just going to go ahead and examine the other ear as well. That way you're not having to repeat a bunch over again. So after we finish the ears, the next thing we're going to examine is the eyes. To do this, we're going to have to flip our rabbits over. So we're going to start by turning our rabbits a quarter turn. We're going to again grab their scruff, so our pointer finger in between their ears. Grabbing their scruff, we're going to support their hind end, flip them over, and rest their body. <laughs> and they are quite um, uncomfortable with this at first because when they're upside down, they cannot run away from anything. So this is something that you're really going to have to gain your rabbit's chest with. But so we're going to have them resting their body weight on the table. And then we're going to check their eyes. So we're not going to force their eyes open, but we're going to use our, use our fingers to open it up. And I'm going to be checking for the proper color, any blindness, signs of wall eye, moon eye, weepy eye, or any signs of conjunctivitis. And then we're going to check the other eye. And you want to make sure that the judge can see the eye. The judge will be a little bit closer up. He can kind of move around a little bit to see, but you really want to make sure that your hands aren't in the way. If I'm here examining the eye like that, the judge doesn't have the opportunity to see it. So we want to make sure that we make this, whatever part we're examining, visible to the judge. The next thing I'm going to be examining is her nose. We're going to make sure that the judge can see both nostrils. And we're going to be checking for any signs of nasal discharge and then any signs of snuffles. So that's a, um, a sickness that rabbits can get and it's basically a really um, stuffy nose. But rabbits can only breathe through their nose so that's really difficult for them because that um, turns into an upper respiratory issue. And then we're also going to check the inside of the rabbit's legs because when rabbits have a runny nose they're going to wipe it with their legs. So even if their nose is dry it could be that it's because they just wiped it and the inside of their legs are wet. So we're going to check both of the inside of their legs and my, the inside of my rabbit's legs are dry. And then we're going to be, whoop, <laughs> and sometimes they'll turn back over and that's okay. We can just come back and flip them back over. Next I'm going to be checking my rabbit's teeth. I'm going to be checking for any buck teeth, wolf teeth, peg teeth, or broken teeth and any signs of malocclusions. So that's like unaligned teeth, and that creates that they can't eat properly, their teeth will get overgrown, and that can cause them to be quite thin. So now that we've checked their teeth, we're gonna go ahead and check their belly. We're gonna check any, for any abnormalities, any pigeon breast, mastitis, any abscesses or blemishes. And we're also gonna check under the rabbit's jaw Sometimes um, female rabbits in a lot of other breeds will get dew laps and that's, um, they use that so that when they have babies, when baby bunnies are born without hair, they pull fur from their dew lap to keep their baby bunnies warm. But in Netherland dwarfs, they're actually disqualified if their breed has a dew lap. So that's again why it's really important to know your breed standards. But I'm still gonna go ahead and check under the jaw, make sure there's no blemishes, abscesses, or abnormalities. Okay. And then we're going to check our rabbit's front legs and feet. We're going to first check that their legs are straight. And then we're going to start with the front toes. And we're going to make sure that she doesn't have any broken toenails or missing toes, broke, missing toenails any miscolored toenails, so sometimes they'll have a couple black toenails and a couple white toenails. Depending on the color of your rabbit, they should be either white or black. So all of my rabbit's toenails are black. And then you'll also be checking in the whole leg, you're gonna be checking for bone density. You're gonna check for the dew claw, which is that fifth toe that they only have on their front feet. And you're also gonna be checking the pad of their foot to make sure that it doesn't have any sores from the wire cages. And then again, we're gonna check the other leg. Okay, and then we're gonna check their back feet. But if you notice, the back feet are way back here and the judge is gonna be sitting in front of us, so that may be a little bit hard for him to see. So we're actually gonna turn our rabbits over. We're gonna turn them around. And then, 
turn them over this way. So now the judge can easily see their back legs. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna check to make sure that they're straight. We're gonna check for any missing or broken toenails, for any mismatched colored toenails, and then for bone density. And then they can get um, a quite common thing that rabbits can get is sore hocks, especially when they're on wire cages. So we're gonna check and make sure that they don't have any sore hocks. Awesome. And then we're gonna check the sex of our rabbits. So my rabbit is a doe. My rabbit is a doe, so we're gonna be checking for any hutch burn. And so that's where if they're sitting on any wet and unclean surfaces, they can get um, a dry and almost a chapped vulva. And then we're gonna look for any vagina diseases. And if my rabbit was a male, so a buck, I would be looking for any split penis or to make sure that the testicles have descended. And then I'm gonna check my rabbit's tail and I'm gonna check for any dead tail or bobbed tail. There we go. And then I'm gonna flip my bunny back over, turn her sideways, and we're gonna check for the fur we're gonna check, check for density, any sheen and luster, and different breeds will have different kinds of fur. So my breed is rollback, and so that's where when we go the opposite direction, it takes its time in getting back to lay flat. There's rollback, flyback, wool, um, rex, and a bunch of other ones. And so we're gonna check that your breed has the proper hair. We're also gonna check for if they're molting, they'll be losing a bunch of hair and their um, fur also won't be to the, um, it won't be as clean and as shiny as it usually is. And then we're gonna check for what's called the ring. So if we blow on their fur, I don't know if you wanna come in and see this, there's three layers to peaches and, um, fur, there's the darker brown, there's a really thin layer of light brown, and then there's white, and then we'll check the skin, and it's pink. And we can also make sure that there's no mites crawling around, and so we're gonna check for the proper colors and everything like that. And now we're gonna do a full examination of our rabbits. So again, having the left side towards the judge, we're gonna pose our rabbits. And this is something that you need to practice a lot at home so that when you get to the fair, they are nice and cooperative. Perfect. So now we're gonna do an overall examination. So starting with the head, we're gonna, have, we're gonna use um, words as fair, um, excellent, okay, not okay. Fair, excellent, um, I actually have a list over here of the ones that they want you to use. Excellent, good, fair, poor, balanced, conditioned, and finished. They just don't want you to use the word nice. So as we're going through and doing the examination, Peaches has a fairly good head. Her ears should be placed closer together, but they're fairly well placed behind her ear, or behind her eyes, so this is called the crown. She has a fairly well set um, head on her onto her shoulders. Her shoulders run smoothly into her hind end and she falls a little bit steep onto the table. She has fairly good width um, in her body. Her loin is excellent in its width and how it blends into her hips from the ribs, shoulders, hips, down into the rump. So overall, she is a fairly decent um, body structure. Hey friends, thanks for coming in and watching me practice my rabbit showmanship today. This is not perfect, but again, if you go onto the ARVA website, American Rabbit Breeders Association, you can purchase the standard of perfection as well as print out their score sheet. Um, I hope that you have watched this video and have learned something new today. 
If you're in 4-H, your FFA will have more videos coming out on showmanship for different species, also about the proficiencies. Um, and even if you're not in 4-H, we're going to have videos on um, husbandry and how to just care for your animal and how to give them the best life you possibly can. We'll see ya!